A common theme on the show lately is about how the right is becoming increasingly violent in their rhetoric. And we're getting to the point where a lot of them are just saying the quiet part loud. We saw this when a bunch of right-wingers reacted to Ted Cruz denouncing Uganda's anti-gay law. They were saying, no, Uganda's based. We want that here in the United States. They're just, they're saying it lately. Um, Ian Miles Chong or Miles Ian Chong, I always swap them, fill in the blank. That dude, you know who I'm talking about. He responded to someone who made an anti-Semitic tweet and he said, Jews aren't the problem. And then he got ratioed with a bunch of people saying, "Mm, actually, they are sharing pro-Hitler images. So they're just increasingly feeling really bold and they're coming out and just saying it. So I want to look at a couple of videos here where you have right wingers just saying what I'd assume many, if not most right wingers are thinking. So this is America First activist Tyler Russell and uh america first by the way like when we see this this is basically code for nazi like uh and i don't think that that's hyperbole but he explains uh what the far right white nationalist base really wants so uh let's go ahead and listen i may need to refresh the video since ellen broke twitter but what he says here is um not surprising if you've been paying attention but hopefully the normies will see this and uh and wake up is you know libertarian populist people that are like we need to actually have political substance you know what no i don't give a f- about that okay i don't care about your political substance wait is he canadian because he just said a boat let me go back if this is a canadian speaking about america first i'm gonna be very uh very angry people that are like we need to actually have political substance you know what no i don't give a f- about that okay he's canadian a boat you just outed yourself are you larping as an american possibly i don't know there's a lot of uh canadians steven crowder others but you know not all canadians can be like lance or david dole some canadians are are shitty i don't care about your political substance i want a trump reich i want a trump reich and I want Trump's face to be, you know, projected onto every every single tallest skyscraper in every city around America, okay? That's what I want. We don't want freedom. We want a total Trumpian Reich, okay? That's what we want. We want a total Trumpian Reich. <laughs> we want dictator Trump. We want Trump to rule forever and ever and make America great again. And we want all these people who are acting in bad faith, who are traitors to this nation, to go to jail. That's what we want. All of these dissent. Okay. A Trump Reich. I mean, he said it, but somebody in the chat also said he's Canadian. Let me, uh, let me fact check that really quick here. Cause I am curious now. I'm just gonna Google his name and Canadian. This motherfucker is a Canadian. Canada First exposed months inside one of Canada's biggest, youngest, and newest white supremacist chat rooms. Tyler L. Russell is ripping off Nick Fuentes with the aim of securing a white ethno state in Canada. He's recruiting an army of nameless, faceless kids to do it. And now, this motherfucker comes to America and says, No, I want a Trump right here. I'm sorry, we need to lock down our northern border, okay? Build a wall. I love I love Canadians, okay? You're all amazing. But the ones that move to the United States, it's like the worst. Because the smart Canadians know to stay in Canada because that's where the free healthcare is. I'm not one to be like, hey, we need to shut down the borders. But to this asshole, f*** you. Fucking Trump Reich. F*** you. Now, he's not alone, though, because Newsmax guests... Uh, also said something uh, woke capitalism taking over America. Listen, if all these conservatives are so outraged about woke capitalism, I think the only solution is to abolish capitalism. Let's have the uh, workers seize the means of protection. Uh, production. Did I just I just said protection. Workers seize the means of production, and um, that's it. No more woke, right? If workers can control these companies, if they have a democratic vote. And they overthrow the boards, they take over the means, you solve the problem. 
they wouldn't say that because they don't know what capitalism or socialism is. But uh, let's listen to this guest here. On, I predicted 20 years ago. Champion for America's borders. Are you going to advocate that people like Tyler Russell get the f out? In a not so joking way, like a Jonathan Swift, that if we don't stop mm. these psychopathic haters, they will snap the crosses off the graves of our war memorials. How far away are we from someone saying, all those crosses make me uncomfortable and I want them snapped off the graves of dead soldiers? Okay. This is where you can tell they just don't know what to talk about. They are making up things to be outraged about. Oh, well, you know, what if one day they want to snatch these crosses off of dead soldiers' uh, graveyards? Who's thinking about this? Who who wants to do that? Who wants to desecrate graves? I mean, I think that most people, they have lives, and they're not concerned with weird fucking things like this. I mean, I personally, again, I, I'm not thinking about woke corporations or what I'm outraged by. Like, I just want to spend time playing Tears of the Kingdom, right? I want to hang out with my dog. I want to finish Carnival Row. Two episodes left. It's pretty good. I just... I mean, it, it's, it is bizarre. It's so weird. Who's going to stop them, Carl? Carl, yeah. I've had enough. But I've had enough. I'm an old man, but I'll tell you something. I'm willing to pick up bombs. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Well, I'm, I, I, I see your frustration. I mean, look, you, you want to mess with, with the, the headstones of, of Arlington National Cemetery? Are there people doing this? And by the way, I thought that this was the guest, but apparently this is the guest. I haven't pre-watched this. It's like all these people, they do this stuff in schools. They're, oh, we're going to trans your kids without your son. What just... Oh, we're going to trans your kids. <laughs> God, it, you know, so many parents, you know, they send their kid to school with fucking uh, a Paw Patrol back backpack, the little boy to school. All of a sudden, three o'clock hits, the boy comes home with a wig on and a dress. Kid was trans, completely permanent. God, this is happening more and more. It's crazy. Hear me out, Michael. What happens if I just started go, or, or we started going around as conservatives, started baptizing people in, in elementary school without parental consent? The liberals would lose their mind. Why not do it? Because yeah, you can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> that would violate the First Amendment. I mean, you could do that at private schools, but it would be very weird. And actually, this was done, right? There was a school that did like a mass baptism and the parents complained because they didn't get permission and it wasn't it was like a christian school to be clear and the parents weren't mad be that their kids were baptized they were mad that they were baptized and they weren't there to watch it but it you know it there's one instance let me google what he's talking about arlington cemetery bishop baron expresses outrage over desecration at catholic cemetery this is from 2022 let me see what the story is here. Okay, so yeah. Graffiti looks like they uh, drew a dick on Jesus. Am I seeing a dick and balls? No. I think it's a heart, actually. Yeah, it's a heart. Okay. And a happy face. Or is this Mary? No. I actually don't know. No, this is Jesus. Anyways, let me see. So, Christian, hateful, obscene gra uh, graffiti on Halloween night. He assured his, he assured his prayers for families. So, I mean, this is this is the only thing that I could see from 2022. But when you see this, do you automatically assume that the left did it? I mean, this is probably like some teenager that did it. I just don't. I, I don't know why you would blame the left for this and and make it seem as if this is some widespread problem. Oh, it is white Jesus. Okay. It is Jesus. Oh, and they also spray painted um, his face blue. Satan. Oh, they, they spray painted Satan. And they spray painted his toes. Yeah. So I guess, I mean, maybe that's what they're angry about. But is this like a widespread phenomenon? Like, again, they are making up a reason to be outraged. And then they're saying, oh. I'm so mad, I want to take up arms. I want to be violent. Uh, they're working themselves into such a frenzy that they're becoming increasingly violent. It's just so unhinged. But, I mean, this is the, the right. This is what they do now. 
So, you know, you can expect their rhetoric to get even more violent, um, especially in the lead up to the 2024 election. And it's only going to get worse. You can you can hope that if they get wiped out because they've gone too far in 2024, that that's going to be the wake up call. It won't. It won't be the wake up call after the 2012 election. They they did this whole like election or campaign autopsy and they were like, yeah, you know, we're just uh, we need to appeal more to diverse crowds. And then they they elected Trump the next election cycle. So like they're incapable of introspection and they're just going to double, triple and quadruple down.